I was here about eight years ago over at the Grand Amway uh, to uh, have breakfast with Bill Seidman. Mary Beth says, uh, would you like to meet one of the founders, if not the founder, she says. I said, sure. So I was over there having a cup of coffee with bre uh, at breakfast, and I asked Bill, how did we get started? And he uh, took uh, about 60 minutes in five minute increments <laughs> to tell me all about how we got started. And it was one of those memories that I will have for a lifetime. And in that conversation, one of the five minute segments was, and you know, Dr. Haas, can I call you Tom? <laughs> sure. He said, we need a building for the business college. And I said, yes, sir. <laughs> so here we are with many of his friends and family to create what we have here today. Dear friends, thank you for all you do for this community. Like all of you, we travel the world and we brag about Grand Rapids and what's happened here. And in recognition of all the things and all the wonderful people, it's all about character. It's all about caring. It's all about people who care about other people, who think about the young people coming up. That's the heart of a community. I've been fussing with an idea of having a community-wide meeting to just celebrate life and to encourage our young people to realize that they can do it. You know, I, we dropped in a class today, and I couldn't resist saying to the students, hey, you can do it, you can do it, don't question that. It's, it, it's part of my, my, my character today, is to tell and encourage people to do it, that you can do it, and over, you can overcome the problems. My goal is that we build Grand Rapids into the most positive community in the country, that our young people all believe in what they do and that they can do better and that all of us pass words of encouragement on to all the young people and all the people we know, that we become a society of improvers, enriching the lives of others. And I want especially our young people to have that attitude. In my role in West Michigan, I've had a chance to get to know a number of the students, alumni, and faculty through the CEI, and uh, it's great to see the momentum that's been building, and it continues to build and keeps going to a higher level. And I can just see Bill shining and, and smiling about that. He was one of those leaders, along with Rich and Don and others, that have made this West Michigan community such a unique and special place. It is my pleasure to be here tonight to represent all of the students of the Seedman College of Business. I can tell you that, as students, we love our new home. We all have personal reasons, of course, but I think I can sum it up this way. First, it's clear that our needs were addressed in this building from technology to study space, and we know Grand Valley always puts students first. Second, we are already more closely connected to our professors and learning more from them and each other because we are all here together. That sense of community more closely prepares us for the business world. I know I speak for my peers when I say that we are overwhelmed by your generosity and forever grateful to you. We will pay it back when we join your businesses in the future. Thanks to you, we will definitely be well prepared. And, and I think the important thing here, I have a, a bit of a personal history having known Bill, grown up and, and have some fun stories, but to hear the significance, to know that that legacy will live on for generations and that there will be people who go to that school and ask about that name and, and, and see what he has done and what he has meant and will be impacted in their lives so that they can continue on with that legacy in their hands, in their hearts and be able to share and, and contribute to a world uh, that, that Bill helped all of us uh, build together here. Thank you.